Last night, Dana was selected with the 13th overall pick uh, by the Dallas Wings in the WNBA draft. She's the 14th player in the history of the program to be selected, and it's the third straight year that Louisville's had a selection. Uh, over the last three years, Louisville has six players selected in the draft, which is tied for, with Baylor for the most in the country. So uh, we first off just want to offer congratulations to Dana and then uh, open the floor for questions. Yeah, Dana, I guess I can start. Cameron with the Courier Journal. You woke up this morning. Did it did it, did it hit you? Did it, it feel any different now that you are uh, officially a pro? Um, it did feel good, I must say. Um, I, I'm blessed to to be given the opportunity to play at the professional level and given an opportunity. Um, that's all I needed, and I'll take advantage of it. So it did. It did feel still a little surreal, but I'm excited. Hey, Dana, Todd Griever with WHAS 11. You spoke last night about having a little extra motivation to, to go into the gym and to get started on things. You just got done working out. How did you, I mean, did, did you kind of feel that this morning when you woke up and got in there for the first time after last night? Yeah, it felt good to, to get in the gym. It clears my mind. It's kind of my getaway. It just makes me relax, makes me smile again. Um, but like I said, I, I am really grateful for the opportunity, but if you know me, you know I'll use this as motivation, and I'll add it, add it to something that I'll look forward to, take a picture of it, remember it forever, and I just go from there. Um, I'm trying to figure out if I can wear number 13, figuring that out. So, you know me. Hey, Dana. Uh, Matt McGavick with Sports Illustrated. Uh, based on talks with teams uh, leading up to the draft, did you have – any inkling or any indication at all that you might slide out of the first round? No, that was never the plan. That never crossed my mind. That never was brought up. Um, but, you know, like I said, God doesn't make mistakes. So I was I was selected in the second round first pick for a reason. And I'm still proud to, to even be picked. I'm sure a lot of girls wish that they were able to hear their name or see their name. So I'm still – um, I'm still real thankful for the opportunity itself. Hey, Dana, you talked. I know how, how important your parents and your family have been to you and how they kept you kind of grounded throughout your career here at Louisville. What were they saying as the draft went on and on and, and you felt like and you just you felt like you were going to get picked and, and you didn't? Yeah. Um, well, I just tried to stay as calm as possible because I know my parents are freaking out. Um, beside me, I can just feel that, and I just kept tapping them. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'll get picked. I'll be fine. I'll, I'll get picked. I don't know when, but <laughs> it'll, it'll happen. We'll see my name. We'll see my name up there. So, I just actually it was me kind of being calm, making them calm this time instead of them calming me down. So, um, I see a lot of mature and growth in myself as a person. Um, being able to, you know, just sit there and keep waiting when I didn't expect to. So, I think that was huge. Dana, is that kind of the biggest lesson you took away from this whole process? I assume that there's a lot of things that pop up that maybe become unexpected, but is that kind of your biggest takeaway from, from this whole draft process? Yes, um, it caught me off guard. It did, but I think that was just another another way to keep me wanting to get better, to keep me hungry, to keep me ready to just attack every obstacle that's that's thrown to me. Um, and be willing to do whatever I got to do to make that roster at the Dallas Wings. Hey, Dana. Uh, have you had a chance to uh, talk to any of your new Dallas Wings teammates yet? No, I haven't got a chance to talk to any, any of them yet. I'm, I know Ty Harris already. We're pretty cool. So that wouldn't be that, you know, that wouldn't be a problem getting to know everybody else. I, I've played against pretty much everybody on that team. Like Arike, I've played against her really good player. I played against Satu Sabali, um, so I'm pretty familiar with the team. So, yeah. uh, Dana, this is Michelle Bobo with ESPN.com. I, I think I, I think everybody sort of shares your bafflement um, w with this, with you dropping out of the first round. But like you said, there's maybe a reason for this. I know you haven't had a lot of time maybe to study everything with Dallas's roster, but it seemed to me like a point guard – like yourself, was very much what they needed. Do you see yourself maybe excited about fitting in with, especially sort of this young, growing group with the Wings? 
Yes, I'm really excited. I think uh, we have a really talented roster. I think we have a lot of different pieces picking up um, Charlie Awake and uh, Chelsea in the first round. I think um, we have some pieces and I think we got a lot of different different pieces. People can do different things here and there. A lot of people can score the ball. A lot of people can pass it like Ty Harris can pass the ball really well. Now they have post presence, a few uh, rookie posts. So I think we're I think we have a really, really talented team, a deep team. Hey, hey Dana, uh, this is Gary Graves from uh, from the AP. Um, before you were talking about you know, like trying to create a different shot, um, you know, in anticipation for the WNBA, what other uh, kind of feedback did you get about shooting and where are you trying to add a, a, or refine you know, different parts of your shoot your, your shooting rather? Um, I just kind of stick to my routine. I think that's been working for me. It's just staying in the gym, staying um, hungry, willing to get better. But with my shot, I think I just stick to what I've been doing. Hey, Dana, it's Matt again. Uh, what were some of your three draft conversations like with Dallas Wings, and how good do you feel about your chances to uh, make the roster, even with uh, the Wings selecting three picks in the first uh, three in the first five picks of the draft? Um, I think I think I have a really good chance. I just have to show um, my whole arsenal. I have to show my whole game because it is a lot of talent over there. Um, but I have to be confident in myself and believe in myself and know that the work that I've been putting in is going to pay off and just continue to, to trust in God and trust in his process and his plan for me. Hey, Dana, Cameron, again, do you know when you go to Dallas for camp? I'm pretty sure I'll be leaving Sunday on the 18th. So for, for you until you get down there, um, what's the plan? Is it just working out with uh, people uh, you usually work out with back home? Yep, stay in the gym as much as I can. Any other questions for Dana? Yeah, Dana, Dana I, I guess I got, I got one more. Um, you, obviously, you got a lot of love from people, people at Louisville, former teammates, people who have been through the same process as you. Just being another member of the program to kind of make that step to the draft, uh, make that step to w WNBA. What is what does that mean to you? Because it's a, it's a a lot a lot of really good players to come through this program in the last last decade or, or decade and a half. It means a lot, but it does say a lot about the program itself. I think Louisville is is definitely um, continuing to grow and get better and better every year, developing great players. I think the coaching staff take pride takes pride in developing their players and helping their players reach their goals like I did last night. So um, it speaks a lot about Coach Walls, Purcell, Norman, JP, how they how they run that program and things that they're doing and, and willing to help their players get better and, and like I said, just reach their goal. Anything else? Well, Dana, we'll let you get back to your workout. Thank you. Appreciate hey, it. Thanks, Dana. Thanks, Dana.